Hey guys, it's me, Hitman Mac, once again with another video, and today I'm going to be playing some Infinite Warfare. This is actually gameplay that I got at Christmas on the Winter Genesis map, uh, but I got so much gameplay, I literally was just running around with shotguns the entire time, so I got some absolutely mad gameplays with shotguns. So I just want to just, like showcase some of them uh, for you guys, because some of them are actually pretty cool. If the gameplay does look really weird, it's because I play on full brightness. Uh, it's just me, I can't play with a dark game, uh, it's, uh, it's just from habit from playing Black Ops. But uh, yeah, I play on full brightness, so things will look a little bit weird. That's also why some of my thumbnails can sometimes look a little bit strange. But I, I've started turning down my brightness now to get thumbnails, but uh, yeah. So basically what we're going through today is how to build a class setup that I feel is pretty much the most overpowered and underused class in Infinite Warfare. Now obviously shotguns are so underused and underappreciated in Infinite Warfare, it's absolutely ridiculous. But they're so good and nobody understands that. Like I suppose a lot of people do use the Reaver and the different like interpretations of the Reaver, but nobody uses the Rack 9. It's it's just mind-boggling to me because I think this shotgun is the best gun in Infinite Warfare. I cannot get over how good the Rack 9 actually is in this game. So basically what we're using in this gameplay where I think I went 41 or 45 and 15 or something with this gun. Basically what I'm using on it is rifle barrel suppressor and in a lot of games I did use the laser sight as well. But in this one it is just the rifle barrel and suppressor and oh my god is this thing good. It's, it's, it's just ridiculous. Like, I mean... As it is, the Rack 9 has obscene range anyway, so I suppose that kind of does take take away from like the reduction that the suppressor does actually give. I mean, imagine if you had this with the smoothbore, like it's it's a slug shotgun with a suppressor, and then if you if you had that, like it, it's just it's just it would just wreck everything. But obviously this is bookshop, but man, does it just destroy everyone? Genesis is, is such a small map. This gun absolutely excels beyond everything else in this map. You get into any tight situation whatsoever and you're going to just absolutely slay with this thing. Like, I was getting triples and quads all game long. It's, it's just too good. It's just too good for its own good. But basically, this gun, you kind of do need a small map for it, I guess. Like, Genesis will obviously be, I suppose, preferable. There's not really that many kind of small close quarters maps in this game that I actually enjoy. Like, I hadn't actually played Genesis until this actually came out for Christmas. But like man, did the Rec 9 just the Rec 9 just wrecked? It did. Rack Rec 9. Oh, Later on, I did actually start putting the laser sight on as well because I realized that I was never actually aiming with this gun. I was just going around and hip firing everybody. So the laser sight actually did help a lot. And then I discovered I had a variant of this which had reduced hip spread, which coupled with the laser sight, this thing was an absolute force to be reckoned with because you could, you could just run around everywhere and every bit of the bookshot would hit your enemies because it was all going in a straight line rather than out in a circle. It was literally just going straight like a slug. It was it was. It was stupid how good it was. Plus, coupled with the small map on large teams, I mean, this th this thing was an was an absolute animal. I just got absolutely destroyed. But uh, yeah, no, it did it did really well. It served me very well over Christmas because I was just destroying everybody. I mean, I I literally just used a shotgun for all of Christmas on this map. That's literally all I did, and it's my KD. My KD went from like 1.4 to 1.9. My win loss went just shot up. Like it just it, it was just so good. Like I. I don't understand how I've never thought to use it before, but uh, definitely gonna start doing more videos like these with cool setups and stuff because I definitely think that this is probably the best shotgun setup, if not gun setup in the game. Obviously, you know, it, it can't compete long range with with like NV4s and stuff like that, but you put it this into a small map where it's close quarters and this thing will slay everything all day long. Anyway guys, that is pretty much it from me, Hitman. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You know, drop a big fat subscribe on my channel. It would really help me out a lot. Uh, I'm trying to like revive my channel now. I've already broken my uh, my schedule thing. I was like, oh yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I uploaded on Tuesday as well. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, screw it. New year, new me, fuck the law. But anyway, as always, I have been Hitman. I will see you in the next video, guys. Hitman. Out.